Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about hierarchical clustering in the subject of data mining. So basically in clustering, we have four methods, partitioning, hierarchical, grid based and uh, so on, right? So density based and so on. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about hierarchical clustering. So what is hierarchical clustering? What are the two methods we have and about those methods I will explain. Got it. You know, what is a hierarchy, right? So normally in a in a company first you will have the leadership team then you will have uh, managers then you will have team leads then you will have some employees so you will be having a hierarchy of the positions in a company and even in your family also we will have our grand grandparents then we will have our parents next us children so like that we will have a hierarchy so here also you will be classifying the data in a hierarchy like you will be using the t tree structures in order to represent the hierarchy okay it will group the data into tree of clusters okay and that structure which we are using is called dendrogram i'll show you the diagram don't worry that structure which we are using is called as the dendrogram the tree structure which we are using is called as the dendrogram in this hierarchical clustering okay so this dendrogram will have the sequences of all the merges and splits that is where you are merging the data where you are splitting the data all that sequences will be in this figure diagram got it so in hierarchical clustering we actually have two methods that is we can do hierarchical clustering in two ways we can either use this agglomerative method or divisive method okay two methods agglomerative or divisive both are different so what is agglomerative both are quite opposite to each other so what is agglomerative and what is divisive also let us see now agglomerative method means bottom to top so from the bottom we will be start the merging of the data and we will go to the top okay so what are the steps involved it you have to first calculate the similarity of one cluster with respect to all the other clusters okay why you have to calculate the similarity in order to send the data if the similarity is very high then you can send the data item to that cluster consider every data point as individual data merge the clusters with higher similarity that is what i said and you have to once you merge you have to again calculate the similarity and you have to keep on repeating those steps until you get a single cluster okay for example see this so this is how agglomerative works and this structure is called as a dendrogram got it so first initially it starts with a so what you do is a b so you need to calculate the similarity of A and B. If the similarity is high, you need to merge them and make it as AB. Got it? Same here also. CD will be separate. You have to calculate the similarity. If the similarity is high, you will merge them and make CD. Okay? E. Now CD cluster, CD is one cluster, E is one cluster. Okay? So you have to calculate the similarity between CD and E. If it is similar, then you have to merge like CD and E, right? You can merge both of them and write CD like this okay like this from the bottom you will go to the top so the direction will be in this way okay the direction so from the bottom so here you have a b as one cluster and c d is as one cluster you will be again calculating the similarity between a b and c d e if the similarity is again high you can match them into a one big cluster until we get one single cluster we have to keep on repeating the process okay this is about the agglomerative and even in agglomerum ag sorry agglomerative also we have three modes we will be operating this in three modes single linkage complete linkage average linkage single linkage means minimum complete linkage linkage means maximum average linkage means average so what is this min max and average i will tell you so in case of single linkage you will be selecting the mi minimum similarities so minimum similarities are selected from the clusters and in case of complete linkage you will be going for maximum and in case of average similarities you will be going for average similarities okay you can do it in three modes actually okay so this is about the agglomerative method 
top bottom to top you will be going that is you are merging the data got it so next in divisive method what will happen is it is a top to bottom method from the top you will come to come to bottom that is you will be splitting the data here data splitting will happen so in the previous page i said right dend dendrogram will have sequence of merges and splits so in agglomerative we will have merging of the data from bottom to top whereas in case of divisive we will have the splitting of the data from top to bottom okay so it is a top to bottom method we take all the data items into sling single cluster and in iterations we will be splitting the data at the end we will be getting n number of clusters so what is that n initially how with in in the cluster initially how many members are there that is n suppose a b c d e right so in this how many uh, data items we have five data items so at the end you will be getting five clusters a a b c d e five five separate clusters you will get i'll show this you the, the diagram. diagram for divisive initially you will start with a b c d e next you will calculate the similarities or dissimilarities and you will be breaking the data okay a b as one data item and c d e as one data item next a is again broken down into ab next cd is initially break, broken down into cd and e and then cd is again broken down into c and d okay so what the direction would be in this way here okay that is you are splitting the data you are not merging the data got it this is about the divisive method this is about hierarchical clustering in the hierarchical clustering we will be following tree like cluster structures and those are called dendrograms the dendrograms will represent both merging of the data as well as splitting of the data got it in agglomerative we will be doing the merging of data in devising we divisive we will be doing the splitting of the data got it so that is all about this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you are still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure let's meet up in the next coming video with another video.